This is a mystery. The beautiful chaotic dance of fluids, water, air, smoke. We can put them in equations, but we can't truly master them. These are the Navier-Stokes equations. They're over 200 years old and they describe almost all fluid flow. They let us design airplanes, predict ocean currents, and even model galaxies. But here's the multi-million dollar problem. We don't know if these equations always work. Mathematicians can't prove that solutions stay smooth. In theory, could a flow explode into infinite energy? This is the existence and smoothness problem. Do nice, smooth solutions always exist? Why does this matter? Because it touches the predictions we rely on, the engines and vehicles we build, and even advances in physics. If we could prove they always work, we could forecast weather far better, build more efficient engines, and refine big models of nature. So we have a paradox. Practically, the equations work spectacularly. Theoretically, we can't rule out a hidden monster. Named for Navier and Stokes, these equations have shaped centuries of engineering and science. The challenge is either to prove smooth solutions always exist, or to find the one theoretical example where they break down. It's a quest to prove the rules we use to describe our world are sound, to find the thin line between order and chaos. It's not just about fluids. It's about whether we can truly trust our description of the physical world. What do you think? Is our math broken? Comment your answer below. Like this video, share it and subscribe to dive deeper into other millennium problems. Despite math still having outstanding gaps that need solved, ones that are fundamental to explaining our reality. If solutions are ever given, they will be rational and not supernatural. Hence why math isn't magic, it's everywhere.